Hi there, this is Tammy with Tammy Stamping Therapy. Today is, I think it's week six of the Magical Christmas Collab that is hosted by Pink Zebra, the Unicorn Crafter. Um, before I start, please excuse my voice. I've been sick all week and I don't really sound like myself, which is very annoying, but um, today I'm going to show you how I made two Christmas ornaments that I um, used as entries for a challenge from Pink Zebra the Unicorn Crafter and uh, uh, Danielle and from Marty who is Ralea Ralala Creates. Um, so I'm going to start with the one I created for Marty. The ornament that I created is this really fun star. This star is made using um, Stampin' Up's uh, stitched stars dies that are in the current holiday catalog and the fun part is that they are carrying over when the catalog ends. I love uh, shapes that I can stack like this and you can make a lot of fun things with stars. This one I made using our wrapped in plaid designer series paper, our gold foil paper, and our gold glimmer paper along with the ribbon that we have that has its um, very vanilla ribbon with a gold edge and it's the same on both sides so when you hang it on a tree it'll look the same from either direction so I'm going to show you how I made that the one I'm making today I am not using any designer paper I'm using gold glimmer paper gold foil paper and red glimmer paper um, so I'm going to start I cut out two of each of the shapes. There's six different sizes. I am going to start by, how did I do this? I'm going to start by adding my ribbon, which I forgot to get out. A little unorganized this morning because when you can't breathe it's hard to make your brain work right. So I'm going to add ribbon to the back of this just like this. So I'm going to first put down first I'm going to put down go add it with blue dots. Come on, glue dot. Now uh, when you're doing glue dots and ribbon, it's sometimes hard to get it to stick. So I will do this. This is going to be fun. There. And then I will put another glue dot here. I'll make my ribbon go the way I want it to go. I want it to kind of come out the same on each side of this star. So there is that part. <clears throat> and then I'm going to glue these two stars together and I'm going to do that just using my multi-mono adhesive. Make sure everything is lined up correctly. I see what I could have done as prep work ahead of time is I could have put my dimensionals on the back of all these stars. Unfortunately, I just now thought of that. So, okay. So there's my base. It's the same on each side. It's pretty just like that too. And that's the only glue that I'm gonna use when you're working with glimmer paper it is hard to get things to stick and Stampin' Dimensionals stick very nicely. So I'm going to use probably both sizes of my Stampin' Dimensionals. I'll start by putting them on this star. And I'll 
I'll take that off of there. The tedious part. Sorry to make you watch all of this. If I was feeling better, I would figure out how to speed this up before I post the video, but I don't have the brain power for that today. So I'm going to press that on there well, and then I'll do the same thing on the other side. and pressing it in well is what's going to make this thing stick together <clears throat> and then I will do my gold foil stars I rarely get sick, and last week my husband came home with this nasty cold, which usually is okay. Usually he gets it, he doesn't share it. And this time I caught it, which was not fun. I had a holiday bazaar last weekend. I did still do it, but I was sick the whole time. Missed a bunch of work this week, and now, even though my voice sounds as bad as it does, I do still feel lots better. Just have the cough, which is making me hoarse. And runny nose. This might seem excessive, but I don't want this to fall apart, and I want it to keep its shape. I want it to all stay flat on top of each other. So like I could in theory just put one dimensional in the middle of each star, but I don't think I would like how that would look. <laughs> on the bigger stars anyway. On the smaller stars I think that's okay. So like these little baby stars, just one in the middle is fine, but still on this bigger one, I'm going to put these on there. Oops, runaway star. I would rather have too much than not enough and have my ornament fall apart while it's hanging on a tree. Okay. Pretty. I just think that's so pretty. I'm not a red fan at all, or really a gold fan. I wear silver jewelry. I don't wear things that are gold or red. But when it comes to Christmas, red is a traditional color, and I just think this looks really elegant. I wanted to use the glimmer paper. I'm actually a purple person, as you can tell by my pad here. And if we had purple glimmer paper, I would be making the star with that and it would look fabulous. We don't have purple glimmer paper, so I'm doing it this way. Purple and gold are very pretty together also. 
as our purple and silver. And there you have it. Quick and easy. I think this is really pretty. I like the way it looks. I could have made that one gl glimmer also, or I could have made these just foil. Either way it would look really pretty. But I wanted to add, I wanted to have both kinds of textures in there. So that's the star ornament. And the other ornament that I made was this one. This is made with the Let It Snow designer series paper using our two ornament punches. And this time I am making it with the Tall Tidings designer paper. So it's going to have a different look because this has a white background. I used white ribbon. The other one I'm going to do has a vanilla background and I'm using the vanilla ribbon again. <laughs> Excuse me. So similar, this is similar to the ornament I made for the Christmas collab last week where I punched out a bunch of the ornaments and folded them in half and glued them together. So I'm going to do that. Um, the ornaments are scored down the middle and I did that with my scoreboard where I put this all the way to the top and I have a line drawn down my scoreboard and that allows me to know how to line this up. So I line this up at the top and this at the bottom on the line and then I scored it. And then I just go like this and do the folding. And burnishing. And then I'm going to glue these three together. I've already done all the rest. You don't have to watch me do that again. The fun part with this ornament is watching how it's all put together, all these pieces. Glue this together. Press all that down. I'm going to let that sit for just a second. While I do the small ones, I have three of the small ornament. I'm curious what this one is going to look like, this paper, when the ornament is done. You just can't tell until you actually put stuff together what it's going to look like. Okay, that's that one. And the last thing I need to do to this one is to put the backing on it. These bigger ones are the base of the ornament, so they need a flat backing. Put this on here. And then I lay it down. And this ornament has something wrong with it. What did I do wrong? Well, you know what? I have... Oops, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I bumped my thing. But I have more. These are supposed to be all red, so I did one of those wrong. The one in the middle. And I don't want to mess up my whole ornament, so... I can't believe I did that, but that's okay. I accidentally punched out way too many ornaments last night when I was doing this. So I had extras. I apologize for bumping the camera. Okay. And then I will do this again.
There's always something. Looks like I can always show you guys how not to do something. Today I have an excuse. My brain's not working right. It's not a valid excuse, but so there's that. Get rid of that. So I have. So you need five of, of the base size and four. No, you need five of each size. Uh, but it takes four punches to make this. Right, my camera is messed up. Is that better? Okay. So it takes four punches to make this one because I put a back on it. It takes only three punches to make this one. So now I'm done with the liquid glue. And what I'm going to do next is going to use hot glue. So I have, I punched a two inch red circle and I'm going to arrange these ornaments on it. Hopefully I can get them spaced evenly. This is the fussy part, getting it all spaced just right, keeping my head out of the camera. I want them to touch but not overlap. You want to touch but not overlap. That looks pretty good because that's going to be hidden in the middle. That ornament is pretty just like that. Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, so now I'm going to add glue to the center of this and it's going to stick it all together. Try to not mess that up, and I'm going to go stick these in there. While the glue is setting up. I don't think that's the way I did it before. But it's been a week since I did this ornament, so I can't really remember. I think that all looks right. I'm going to see if this will sit down on top of there. Not yet. So what I need to put in there I need something to raise that up so it'll fit in there. So I'm going to cut a strip. It's all this still way I want it looks like it and I'm just gonna fold this up and I think that's gonna give me what I need so I'm gonna put a tad of glue on there to close this I have heard in some video I watched 
that they make silicone fingertips that you can use when you're working with hot glue. To protect your fingers, I need to find myself some of those. So I'm going to stick that in there. And still not high enough. I think when I made my first ornament, I used a much bigger one. Skin. I'll put some glue on here. Stick that there. And now this will work. So now I'm going to put some glue on here. Stick this down. And I have a snowflake from the gold glimmer paper. I am going to use uh, all the little strings from the hot glue gun can get a little annoying. They make they're kind of almost invisible, and they make things do weird things. So I am going to use some of my mono glue for this snowflake. I'm going to put that right in the middle. Let's go a little crooked. So there's that part. And I don't have a gold rhinestone. Do I have a gold rhinestone? So what I will do is take one of my regular rhinestones and I'm going to color it. I'm going to try to color it red. See what happens. That's cherry cobbler. Okay, I'm coloring it with my dark real red marker. Uh, Stampin' Blends marker. So we'll see how this looks. And put it right in the middle. Okay, so there's this part. It's stuck to the mat a little bit. Little strings everywhere. So that's the front. It's interesting, the red marker and what looks a little kind of pink. But it adds some more sparkle, so. On the back of this, I am going to once again use my glue dots, except I can't find them. Glue dots. Found them, okay. I have my ribbon. I'm going to use my glue dots to put the ribbon on. I may need more because of the way I just did that. So I'm going to stick like this. And then I want it to be the same angle. The other side oh, so it did work okay and I have punched with the starburst punch I punched out a circle and I'm going to use liquid glue on the back of this Okay, there is my ornament. 
There's about the ornaments I made today. Here's the ornaments I made last week. Hope you guys like them. I have lots of fun making them. Um, this one is not my own design. I found it on somewhere on YouTube how to do it with these ornaments. Um, you can do some similar stuff with many different shapes of punches. This ornament punch is perfect for it, but there's lots of different ways you could do this. And so I think both of these turned out really pretty. So I hope you like them. Um, and this was week six of our Magical Christmas collab. And I think we have one more week left. So thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.